Brown, a long pass to Pavel Bury in the clear, right in. Yeah, it scores! Pavel Bury has won it in overtime. Pavel Bury picked up a perfect pass. Stick handled in the clear. Deke Vernon gets the winner at 2.20 of the second overtime. Canucks win the series four games to three. The sounds of Jim Robson with an unbelievable call. We all came on that ride with you on that. And you can hear Tom in the background cheering because he knew it was in before I did. I was waiting for the red light to come on, and it didn't come on right away. And it was on the opposite side from where we were working. And I didn't want to say he scored if he didn't. Right. With, uh, in a time like that. But uh, it was a great goal. And uh, the great pass was from Jeff Brown, who will be here Sunday at the Heritage Classic along with 16 of his teammates. Pavel will not be here. He's in Russia. Right. But... Uh, It'll be a lot of fun to see the guys. This again. is what this is how nice Jim Robson is. Can I tell you? You always tell me that you watch breakfast television, which we of course appreciate. Well, I don't have to take my clothes off like <laughs> Ryan <right>, Kessler. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing for everybody. Tell us what these are. Remind people what these are, right? Well, the uh, programs from the 1994 Stanley Cup final, the one on uh, the Canuck one, and then of course the New York as well. So I keep a lot of this old stuff for some reason. I love and, it. The uh, border battles and look at you got the uh, the old game notes. This is the way Jim Robson does it people. Yeah we uh, kept and I think John Shorthouse probably does it the same way. Yeah. Uh, you want everything in front of you and the little notes at the side are things to get in during the broadcast and as, as penalties come up for goals are scored you write them down so you can have everything in front of you to recap and things like that. Okay so Jim we're just going to roll some vids from 94 and you tell us stories. I'm just going to sit back okay, and listen. Okay it was a lot of fun. Uh, Canucks had 24 playoff games that year. Six were overtime wins. And Pavel, of course, uh, played terrific. Here's some good examples of the great talent of Pavel Bury. Most exciting player the Canucks have ever had. And, of course, he got a lot of attention in the Ranger game. But as you can see, he's pretty rugged to pay it back. Uh, he was courageous as well as talented. Tremendous skater. And here's an empty netter. Scored a few of those, but most of them were deking goaltenders. He got lots of Pavel here, but he was a kind of a guy that gave you lots of highlights. How about the captain, Trevor and, Linden? Uh, Trevor, there's Trevor as a very young man. He'll be there on Sunday, too, of course. And maybe the most popular Canuck of all time and was fantastic in the playoffs of 94. How tough was Trevor? Well, he was a big boy, too, a good size, and uh, they moved him to center ice in the playoffs because he had been playing right wing, but the Canucks weren't very deep at center ice. It sounds familiar, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And uh, so because Calgary had big centers, and, uh, you know, like Joel Otto and Jim Paplinski, and of course Mark Messier with the Rangers, so they put Trevor in the middle to counter those big guys, and there's the great save McLean made on a three-on-one, the Therian Fleury in the slot. I don't know why he didn't shoot, but he passed to Robert Reichel, and McLean made a fantastic series-saving goal. McLean played all 24 games. He had four shutouts, and there's one of the great sport pictures in Vancouver history. See the blood on Trevor Linden's sweater? That's his blood from a broken nose, courtesy of Mark Messier in the last minute of game six. Of course, there was no penalty. Of course uh, not. And Messier got away with a lot in that series, and they went on exhausted as they were to game seven in New York and came oh so close, but still no cup. Let's visit with the BC boy, Cliffy. Yeah, Cliff Ronning, you know, a big man with a, a I should say a little man with a big career. He played his best hockey in Vancouver too, I think. And he played game seven with a broken hand in New York. And I think that hampered his play somewhat, of course. And he was probably the most consistent offensive center the Canucks had at that time, despite his stature at five foot eight. But he was a great little player. What a great time for fans, too, in the lead-up, too. Yeah, there was, the bandwagon was very crowded at that time. <laughs> uh, uh, there's a lot of people jump off and on those bandwagons, but at this time, the whole city and the whole province got involved waving those white towels that Roger Nielsen started, and uh, it was a lot of fun. It sure hurts not to win the cup when you get that close. It's so tough. People don't quite, I think, understand 30 teams Four rounds of best of seven. To win a Stanley Cup is extremely difficult. They say it's the most difficult trophy in sports to win. Well, it must be. It's such a long grind, and so many players are playing hurt by the end of the playoffs, like in 2011 when the Canucks were all battered up by the Bruins, and uh, Boston was so deep at center ice, and the Canucks weren't. Uh, 
And you know, it's really tough to just to get that far and to get to the playoffs. There's some good teams that'll miss the playoffs this year. That's right. And okay, so the 94 Canucks gathering for the Heritage Classic. These guys have such a bond because they were Warriors on that road. You will be there this weekend? Yes, uh, they're going to have a get together on the Saturday night at Rogers Arena, dinner for the guys. And then I understand that they're going to be introduced at BC Place. Hope it's filled right to the roof for what will be an interesting afternoon of hockey and a very important game for the Canucks and Ottawa. Indeed, and it is almost sold out. Limited tickets available for the 2014 Tim Hortons NHL Heritage Classic. You can get in on this amazing event. Ticketmaster.ca slash NHL. Jim Robson, thank you so much for coming. Thank you, Jody. You know I adore okay. you. Over to you, Michelle. Jim Robson is on our couch right now. I can't even <laughs> stand how excited this the is. The best voice that's ever come down this IFB. Let's put it that way. Thank you so much for coming in, Jim. It's great to see you. I love Legend in Vancouver, absolutely.